This video is going to be about what Eureka Math calls associated ratios and the value of a ratio. When you see value of a ratio, most of the time they're going to want to see that fraction form of the ratio. And hopefully as we go through these questions, we can kind of see how fractions are the value or explain the multiplicative comparison, those fancy words we use for the multiplication relationship between the two numbers. So in this case, we start with Alyssa's extended, extended family is staying at a lake house this weekend for a family reunion. She is in charge of making homemade pancakes for the entire group. The pancake mix requires two cups of flour for every 10 pancakes. Number one, they want us to write a ratio to show the relationship between the number of cups of flour and the number of cups, number of pancakes made. So again, we're going to go in the order of the words. So we need the number of cups of flowers compared to the number of pancakes made. We can find that in our problem up here. Two cups of flour, 10 pancakes. So that means we have a ratio of two to 10, or we know another way to write it is two to 10. Now they say determine the value of the ratio. So what they want us to do is determine the fraction for this ratio. So when determining the value, we're writing the fraction from the ratio. It goes in the same order. The first number is going to be the top number of our fraction, and the bottom number is going to be that second number. So the value of this ratio is 2 tenths. We can also simplify this uh, fraction version to 1 fifth, 1 to 5 as well. In number three, they say use the value of the ratio to fill in the following two multiplicative comparison statements, and that just means multiplication. So if we're looking at the number of pancakes made is blank times the amount of flour needed. So if we go back to one of those tape diagrams and we see we have two groups of flour, and you should draw this um, tape diagram in your notebook as well. Remember, anything that I do on my notebook, I expect you to do in yours as well. Compared to pancakes, and we know it's a relationship of 2 to 10. What do we notice about how many groups of pancakes there are for every one of the pieces? of flour. So when I see it, I can see that I can break this into one cup of flour for every five pancakes, and here's one group of flour for every five pancakes, which is the same as our value right here. So that tells me the number of pancakes made is five times the amount of cups of flour needed. So pancakes times flour five times. So if I have one cup of flour, one times five, I would have five times as many pancakes as I have flour. Again, the relationship here is five goes with the pancakes, so it would be really five to one pancakes to flour, which is the same as five times. Likewise, the amount of cups of flour needed is one-fifth of the number of pancakes made. And whenever we see this of, that it tells us that we're multiplying. So we need, if we want 20 pancakes, we only need one-fifth of that to make, or one-fifth of that for flour. It is pretty tricky to think about in this um, format. We will continue to look at it and practice and have lots of different examples that look at the value of the relationship and the value of those fractions to see how they are related. So just stick with me and keep um, making connections between this five times as much as this um, pancakes down here. This one-fifth is the amount of flour, one out of five, one-fifth of the number of pancakes. 
Question four, if Alyssa has to make 70 pancakes, how many cups of flour will she have to use? So again, we can go back to where we're kind of comfortable because we've done several days of problems like this. If we have our ratio of 2 to 10, and we know that pancakes equals 70, we know that there needs to be 10 in each, sorry, we know there needs to be 7 in each box, therefore we need two groups of 7 cups of flour, which would equal 14 cups of flour. A way to think about it with the one-fifth multiplicative comparison, how many flour do we need, how much flour do we need per pancakes? So we need one-fifth of flour compared to the pancakes. So if we break this into five equal groups, and then we take one of those, that would be our amount of flour that we need. So again, there's that one-fifth of flour compared to the number of pancakes needed. Again, it's going to take some getting used to and some practice, so just kind of try to see those relationships between the one-fifth and the five times to see how they are comparing and relating to each of our problems.